overwhelming array of sign and graphic options in today's marketplace. I'm Rich Stewart, owner of Signs Now in Lebanon. As a local business owner, I'll give you the personal attention you expect from a neighbor, as well as the resources to produce sign and graphic projects of any scope. And we'll stand behind everything we do. Come by Signs Now at 1031A West Main in Lebanon, or give us a call at 444-9770 for the personal attention you deserve and the professional service you expect. Service, the hometown way. That's THW Insurance. Because THW is an independent agent, you can select from several highly rated insurance companies offering competitive rates and excellent service to best suit your needs. For home, auto, life, long-term care, business, or employer policies, when it comes to insurance, ask THW. THW Insurance Services, 702 Cadet Court in Lebanon, or call 443-3849. For an online quote, visit THWinsurance.com. Cumberland Baseball here on WANT FM 98.9 WTOR 1490 and around the world at Go Cumberland Athletics. Defensive change for the Bulldogs. Critchlow will go to right field in place of Raw, so a defensive replacement for the Dogs as Kirby will face 3, 4, and 5, the heart of the Lion batting order here in the top half of the seventh. Will Lindsay's 0 for 1 with a walk in the ballgame. First pitch swinging fouls it off over into the on deck circle. So defensively, now in the outfield, left to right, Henderson, Butler, and Critchlow. Defense in the infield remains the same. Third, first, McGee, Burkhart, Lynn, Mandarino. Off speed pitch down low for a ball. Count was level 101. Keith Kirby, just 73 pitches, 47 strikes. Curveball just missed. Mitch, that's a testament to this young man's ability to just pitch. It's yeah. not throwing. It's, it's pitching, moving the ball around, in and out. It's right there, Tommy. Change up inside after just throwing a breaking ball on the outer half. Count was level two and two. Ball hit on the ground. Nice play. Short hop by McGee. Throws across the manor. Again, it's not smooth looking, but it's an out. Big Aussie stabs at it, going to his glove side. Takes it on the short hop. Nice play at third. And McGee just slams that glove down at the baseball. Pulls the short hop. Makes the lob over to first for the out. And he's made a couple of those over there today. Brian Lynn, one for two today. Left-hand hitter. So two outs for Kirby to get. Off-speed changeup. Count goes 0-1. I've got Kirby with just 77 pitches. If we can get out of this, Tommy, and come away with a win, kind of what we need with Kirby throwing up both games on Wednesday. There's a the changeup again. And with a low pitch count, he's got a week to rest. Pitching in the one slot this weekend. Changeup fouled off. After the two Missouri Baptist games, Tuesday night, like I said, a veterans field at 6, and then 2 o'clock here on campus on Wednesday. Then the Bulldogs will play down in Pulaski against Martin Methodist next Friday and Saturday. Fastball upstairs. Best post-game meal on the Bulldogs' schedule in Pulaski, Tennessee, the Hickory House. And we're back in the old stadium, I'm assuming? Yep. They're getting ready to move to a new park, but I believe they're still playing at Sam Davis. Ball hits to Critchlow in right field on the line. Ron Zare makes the catch. Good job, Critch. So one out to get for the Bulldogs to come away with a game on victory here. It's a third baseman. Kobe Rogers, he's 0 for 2. The ball game. Third baseman, number 5. Yeah, that old ballpark. I like it. it, it it's, it's metal. I would, it was a foul ball, my first impression of that place. Pitch is a strike. They hit a foul ball up on top of the roof, and I said it sounded bitch like they threw a baseball down inside a battleship. It hit metal and banged and clanged. Fastball off the corner, kind of unique, about 430 feet down the left field line and about 330 feet to left center with a big
designated hitter. Now, the courtesy runner, Mickey Sapanek, is going to stay in and hit here as he ran for the original DH. Yeah. Well, Gossett, the DH, was been their most consistent yeah. hitter. He had a couple of singles so far in the game. Well, he's hitting, I'm sorry, Tommy, he's hitting for Rogers in a five hole. You're right. I looked down a runner. Pitches a ball. Mickey Sapanek, the Eastern Michigan transfer, Highland Village, Texas, 5'10", 190-pound senior. And he's hitting for Gossett. He's, yeah, hitting for Gossett. Yeah, Rogers got the single. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> Everybody's an expert. Kirby set, 102 out pitch, change up down low. Pitch, outside corner with a fastball for a strike. Two and one. Thanks for the help, Chip. Throw over. Yeah, simply he's the kind of guy to throw you an anchor when you're yeah. around. Something to hold on to at least. Two one two out pitch. Fouled off. Goes two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, bottom of the seventh. Seven inning ball game, one nothing. Bulldogs lead. Suspanic got a season hitting 160, no homers, four RBIs. Changeup just foul down the left field line. Dogs catch a break there. Possible run, possible runners at second, third, but about a foot foul. Yeah, that was 12, 14 inches away from being a double. Kirby back up on first base side of the rubber. Here's in at Tyler Alford. Open stance from Suspanic. Pitch upstairs with an off-speed pitch. Count runs full. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner will be off on the pitch. So anything in the gap be a possible run. Kirk steps off the rubber. Mickey Sapanic steps out. Kirby back up on the runner. Sapanic steps back in. Mandarino playing behind the runner over at first base, obviously, with 3-2-2 two, two outs. There he goes. Ball hit on the ground. Out towards Sam Lynn. Has on a couple hops. Bobbles throws. Got him. Dogs come away with a one nothing game one victory here. Sam bobbled that a little bit. Looks like he might have rolled his ankle. He's dipping. Mike Mandarino made a nice play as the throw pulled him off the bag. But the Bulldogs come away with a one nothing victory. Back in the station. Sam, let's take a two-minute break, and we'll be back. Do you know Coca-Cola has a secret formula full of secret ingredients?